Hello there. Long time no see. We are doing Retir again. I made this video last year or the year before, I'm not sure. And that video sucks. So we are re revisiting Retir, AKA sheep gathering in Iceland. This is something that we do every September. Combine the strength of the farmers and take the sheep back to the farm because over the summer they're running outside in the fields in the mountains so then it takes a lot of manpower to bring them back there are people on the horses people in cars people like me just running around i have better equipment now everything is stabilized i'm a little bit out of breath because i'm running on these hills but look we can see this is the goal <laughs> this sheep right there i just have to push her a little bit further down so the people on the horses they are coming from there can just take these there's more sheep there there and there is a guy on the horse that's okay that's good enough they can take them with the horses so these are all the hills where the sheep are running over the summer some of the sheep are in the mountains, not from our farm, because we don't need to take them to the mountains. It's not really necessary. The fields here are vast and they have enough space here. But some farmers don't have that space, so we take them to the mountains. And then you have to go on horses and bring them back. It's 12 now, so we will see how long this will take. I'm guessing a few hours. Ugh, let me sit down. I'm already tired. <laughs> but all these bushes that you see around, I think I talked about them already. Some of them are blueberries, some of them are baiting, and some of them I didn't talk about this. This black thingy. That's called Krajkiberia. It's like a little black. Can you see? Don't mind my dirty fingers. <laughs> It's also like purple, like blueberries. I think you can eat it. I'm not 100% sure. I think they told me that you can. I don't, I just pick blueberries, but apparently you can make jam out of it. You're slowly moving, so I'm gonna slowly move as well. I'm not sure if you can see all the flies flying around my face. Yes, if you ever wondered, there are flies in Iceland. Wait, I think I found this thing. If it is what I think it is, I think that Icelandic people used to make soup out of this. It's kind of like a mushroom, not really. You can cook this with milk and some salt, I think. A moss soup. Oh yeah, they call it a moss, even though it's not a moss, it's actually a fungi. That's how it is. We should try it, you know, like just bake it and, and make some moss soup. <laughs> That'll be interesting. So now I have this group, I have to take south and there's these two super slow, not wanting to move. So we will be spending most of the time with these guys and just trying to push them south. Right? There we go. Hop, 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 hop. Yeah, it's hard for them as well. I get it because moving on this on these hills is not very easy. I'm tired as well. I'm getting hungry, but at least this time around, I came more prepared. I have some water and like an energy bar, something. But yeah, hey, if I didn't explain what this is about, because I just like jumped into it. Hi, my name is Petr. I work in Iceland. I help on the farm, especially with the sheep. This is why I'm talking about sheep the whole time. I help during the lambing season. I'm pulling the lambs out. You can watch the video. It's demonetized because it's very graphic. <laughs> so you can watch that if you're interested in how the real farm work looks like. Now, what we are doing is because by the end of May, you put all the sheep out and they are just, you know, grazing around. 
eating whatever, drinking from the rivers and having fun, you know? And then now at the end of September, some farms do it in the middle of September, you gather them back to your farm. This is what we are doing right now. It's gonna be tough because these guys are going, I don't know where, and these guys are not moving at all. And I am here alone apparently in the middle of nowhere. So I will try the power of technology. I will take out my drone and I will try to gather sheep with the drone. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna work, but hey, it's worth a try, right? So let me narrate this part so I can explain what am I doing and what's happening. I started flying with the drone and the buzzing actually worked, so they started running away. This group, <laughs> the one in the middle, in the front, that's the mother. And the two sheep by her side, those are her lambs. She was trying to protect them, so I tried to like slowly approach her. And then it finally worked and they started running the right direction. But I had to kind of group them all together. I can't just like chase different groups. I needed them to be all together and all in one group. So that's what I was trying to do here. Yeah, this, this group started running in like a little bit wrong direction than I wanted them to. But in the end it worked out and they grouped. So that was good. But I knew that there were two sheep left behind. So I had to come back and try to get them. This is them, the white and the black in the middle. The, I'm sorry about the jittery movements of the drone. I was still flying it in the sports mode, so it's just kind of all over the place. But the sheep started running towards the group, so that was good. And then this is all of them together, nicely walking back to the farm. After that, I could just turn back and come back with the drone, pick it up and yeah, continue with the video. It actually works perfectly fine. I'm flying with the drone, the sheep are kind of afraid of it and now I got the help of another guy on the horse so that's gonna be much easier now. I can just fly around and chase the sheep back to the farm. Much nicer than just running around, <laughs> you know, getting tired. Technology can be good sometimes. I'm gonna have a snack, natural energy bar, peanuts. Dude, this is so much easier than all the years before. <laughs> Before I just had to like run around like crazy and get sweaty and out of breath. And if you think that it's not nice to chase the sheep with a drone, like bzzz, like buzzing around, I don't know. For me, it's the same. Either I'm going to run after them and yell at them and clap my hands to make them move and be like hop, 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 or I can fly the drone that's doing like bzzz. In the end, I think it's the same. Maybe even a little bit nicer with the drone. There's no like negative energy, like the human emotion, you know, in the yelling at them. <laughs> this is just a drone buzzing. Let me switch to my second camera <laughs> because my phone is full. I'm so ready this year, look at me. All this equipment, I knew that it will come in handy at some point. <laughs> but yeah, we are slowly getting to the main fence. And then we can keep moving. I'm sorry if this is boring as f**k, but hey, I'm showing you how it really is. <laughs> yes, we have to get them down there. There's a fence and then on the property and back to the farm. You can see that there is like someone on the horse, another person, another person down there, another one. So yeah. There is actually a bunch of people helping. The drone is actually cool. <laughs> Works much better than I expected. Now have to push them towards the river. There is a gate that we need to get them through, to get them on the property. Everybody was actually happy about the drone. They were like, oh my god, it was so nice to see the drone, <laughs> like pushing the sheep, because they were struggling to move them. There was three rams that are in front of me right now, actually. These three guys 
They did not want to move at all, but the drone helped. So, a small problem is that on the property, the cows and the sheep are kind of mixed right now. So we are trying to separate them and also I can't use my drone anymore because I have only three batteries and they're all drained. So, it all has to be done now with my phone where I don't have any memory <laughs> but fortunately I have one more camera so now the running part starts where there is so many sheep around and they are tired because they've been chased all day they get kind of confused and just run everywhere so this is probably the most uh, time consuming and energy consuming part all the people are here now, all the people on the horses, people in the car, people on the quad bikes, and me running around. Okay. Let's do it, let's finish this up. So yeah, the sheep are successfully in the barn. We gathered them all. So once you have all the sheep in the barn, you have to go through them, like check their numbers and the tags and the ears and check if uh, there are maybe some sheep from other farmers and then you can call them and let them know that they can pick them up at your farm. Other than that, you have to go through them once more and check which ones you want to send to slaughter and which ones you just want to keep. Maybe because they are good mothers and they will give you good quality lambs or because they are small and not worth sending to slaughter yet. So you can keep them until next year. So there's like a whole system. I'm just gonna like tell you very quickly what it is. It's called Europe, E-U-R-O-P. That's the categories of quality of the meat. E is the best, P is the worst. So you send the lambs and the slaughterhouse sends you back the list on which you can see how much meat was there and if it was good or not. So based on that data, you can decide which sheep gave you good lambs. I'm not sure it doesn't make sense. I'm kind of tired. So yes, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click the like button. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and subscribe. And I will see you next time. But until then, ciao.